Frankie. Pizza review time back in New York. Obviously, we got legend Mick Foley with us. We are at La Mia, corner of 82nd and 1st, so we are way out of the way. We've never been in this region in New York. Uh, everyone knows what we do. We try every pizza place in Manhattan till we try them all. So one bite, everybody knows the rules. Also, we got the cane. Got the How cane. you feeling? Knee's been replaced about a month ago. Uh, embarking on a book tour starting tomorrow. May not have been a wise decision. May have been a little ambitious. So uh, we're gonna get through this thing. But I could use some uh, some pizza. Do you consider power. yourself a pizza expert? Oh man, I'm a, a pizza lover, connoisseur. Uh, I do I do know a good pie. Grew up on Long Island. Great great pizza on the. He's island. a Long Island guy. He has a pizza place in Long oh, Island. Oh nice, nice. Whereabouts? Borelli's. Nice. So I've had them in all the boroughs. But I lived in the South for 15 years. Tennessee, Texas, Georgia, Alabama, Florida. Whenever I get like as far north as like DC, my mouth will start watering. So it's been said in 99 when I was doing a lot of the publicity work for WWE that the main difference between me and The Rock, other than the fiscal appearance, was that The Rock liked to have the best steak in New York, and I wanted to go get slices. So and, and, I and New York's not a steak guy. place. It's, nah, a, it's a pizza place. place. Yeah, come on, Rock. And he mentioned the book. No so wonder he hasn't amounted to anything. Well, he's not. He's not writing Santa books. No, no. And he's so, not here either with us. You no, know, he's not, and he hasn't been invited either. So he has it's not like he turned us down. He just didn't get the invite. The book tour. About this and here Santa we go. Book? In the fanny pack. <laughs> you, how, that fanny pack, by the way, is packed tight. A million different things. He's got in a week's worth of stuff. I don't use suitcases. I just use the pack. So the book Saint Saint, Saint, Saint Mick. Mick. Yeah, it's the uh, journey from hardcore to Santa's Jolly Elf, right? Yeah, yeah. So how did you get in? And by the way, that's why we asked because a lot of people around these parts in the I Santa just keep pizza. it up here for product placement, right? That's the whole well, point. Yeah. Okay. And I, I don't know if they caught. Ooh, this pizza oh. actually looks pretty good, Frank. Really good. Did you try to seek this one out because we had a guest? Yes. This looks pretty good. So we take one, one. You take a slice. You do one bite. You carry a slice around a fanny pack. They actually have that, you know. They have slices. There you go. What, what do you got? We're putting in the teeth. I like that's taking out the teeth. Taking out the teeth. The yeah. teeth are out. That's the first. Took out the teeth. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. You score it zero through ten. You already went in, so you have no to eat without the teeth. Without the teeth, yeah. Smooth. Those are the cell teeth here. Cell teeth, ninety-eight. 1990. Why do you put the teeth in? Well, I didn't wear the middle teeth in the front because it was kind of a look. And then um, after the cell teeth eventually like turned colors and started rotting and uh, had to be gone, and my 14-year-old who prides himself on his truth telling goes, "Dad, you used to look cool. Now you look like a crack addict." And I said, "I believe you're looking for a mess addict." But uh, here's the thing: if people know who you are. What's your recognition factor? Like if you're walking down the street, is everyone like, "Oh, there goes." or if people are like, that's a crack act. Because if they know who you are, it looks good. If they don't, slash Santa slash crack act. Bottom teeth isn't a good look on anybody. No, it is. When you, they know who you are. They go, oh, that's pretty cool. But when I portray uh, the Jolly Elf, I find that... Uh, that may not be the best look. Nobody if, wants if you're in the kids' family. business, try to make kids feel good and you go with no teeth. This is, this is really good. This is really... So it's zero through ten. It's among the best slices I've ever had. It is, it is. I mean, the sauce, I don't know, I don't know the jargon, but it's, uh, it's a little tangy, a little sweet. You're, you're not you're not gonna grade it as high? The best you've ever had? Among the best. I'd put it in the top 10 slices I've ever had. Mick, I'm devastated. Okay. What? 10 best you've ever had? No. Oh. It's that good. I don't know what to say, Frankie, but that's an outrageous claim. Maybe the most outrageous we've had in with 250 pizza reviews. Mick Foley comes in here and just absolutely looking the people at home. I don't care if you're Santa. I don't care if you're Mick Foley. You can't this. get away with that. I love this slice. <laughs> top 10? What? I'm, I'm going top 10 that I've ever had. Yeah, I am. It's that good. Damn. Oh, damn. What do you got, then? What's the score? Now, this should be this should be a great. What's the score? I'm giving it a 10. Yeah, give it a 10. I love it. I absolutely love it. If it was legal in New York, I'd marry it. But... Don't get me wrong. It's a good slice. 
I think you'd say ten, no matter what. If I fed, if I fed no, you, I just because I've been to some of the, the places where I'm like, all right, I understand it's good pizza. It's supposed to be good. Famous, you know, famous, you know. Uh, and I'm like struggling my way through it. I can eat a whole pie. I'm not because I'm uh, I'm dropping uh, weight and I'm struggling. Uh, it's hard to sleep with the knee replacement. And I wake up with the 4 a.m. munchies. Yeah, uh, really hard to sleep. So I'm gonna just stick to maybe two slices here. The pizza is a 6.7. It's good pizza. I could eat a lot of it. It's actually football pizza. The 10, Mick. I have the most respect for you in the world. You can take bumps like nobody else, and now you're Santa's little up. You have a legitimate Santa obsession too, right? It's not just this isn't just a book. When? How did that happen? Santa upstairs, the big man though in the North Pole is shaking his head, being like, "Mick can't give it a 10." Anyway, what do you think? I, like, I'm almost speechless. How did the, how did the obsession start though? Well, I yeah, loved Christmas, loved prolonging the holiday, extending it. So when I was on the road, we could celebrate like, "Oh, Christmas in three months," and then there was a great theme park in uh, um, New Hampshire, Jeff uh, Se Jefferson, New Hampshire, Santa's Village, and we built that up for like three months. And then I found, because I was banged up a lot and I was on the road and gone, that I could come home to a Christmas room. I could kind of have that feeling of Christmas all year long. And as I got older and it, Mother Nature was um, cooperating me via the high follicle count, uh, I realized that the big guy can't be everywhere at all times, especially in the month of December. So I fill in where I can, and uh, the highest. Yeah, you know, that's a smart move. That's just a veteran pizza move, right there. Highest compliment you can get is like when you're a wrestler, and uh, that kid's a hell of a worker. When I when I come and I and I do my thing, and then the kids are talking, and then they go, "That was the real Santa." So that's the goal. Yeah, real Santa is the highest form of flattery. It's a very noble cause. You can have a whole pizza if you want it. If anybody likes it that much. I hate to do this, but I'm going to put this in Santa terms for you. That score was like coal in your stocking. It's a disregarded score. Um, that's our view. He gave it a 10. All the people at home, we can't put any credence. I, I like the guy, but a 10. Let me go in and just tell these guys. I'm not <laughs> uh, 10, I mean. I'm, I'm saying this is one of the best slices. 6.7. He literally said that. That's a review. His score, Mick Foley, Santa, whatever it is. I don't believe in fairy tales. I don't believe Santa is real. And that score is definitely not real. Thank you very much. All right, I just had to set that straight. Yeah, you did. You They're going to be like, hey, there were two guys with beards here. One of them really liked it. The, yeah. Other, yeah. the other one was a little dismissive. Yeah. And they were like, which guy? And then it's easy to mix it. You have up. the same beard thing that I get sometimes, too. You're saving some for later in the beard, which is an all-time beard veteran move. When you're homeless, like, I need a little food, go through Santa's beard and bum, bum, bum. All right, that's a review. Appreciate it.